Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video of European Ticket. I'm Ganga uh, and I'm coming from India. I've done my B.Tech in Food Technology and Management from Nifton and currently I'm pursuing IOP Foods program from uh, Ghent University and KU Leuven. So today I'm going here to introduce you to this IOP Foods program. So we'll be discussing admission, visa, finance, scholarship and what are the future opportunities of this course. So let me first introduce the course to you. Uh, the food, the program is called IUP Foods Program. So it is an inter-university program in food technology. It is an MSc course of two years and the two partner universities are Ghent University and KU Leuven University. Both universities are in two cities in Belgium itself. Uh, this program has two major specialization. The first one is food science and the second one is post harvest management. In food science, you'll be learning more core food subjects, the food chemistry, food colloid, food formulation. And in the post harvest management, it's more of uh, thermal properties and thermodynamics about more about machineries and food engineering related subjects. And um, to be eligible for this program, I am from a food technology background and uh, many of us here are from food technology background. However, if you're from uh, biotechnology, microbiology, chemical engineering, any of this background, you can be eligible. And you just need to make sure that you uh, fit the criteria or fit the credit criteria of the program. As long as you have a science and engineering background, I think you'll be eligible for this. And uh, let me take you through the admission process. So since I've already mentioned it's in two universities, but the admission is dealt by KU Leuven alone. So uh, you can see the admission process uh, like it is in the KU Leuven website uh, for all non EAA citizens. The admission process is similar for any program. So even if you're applying for multiple programs in KU Leuven, so you just need to make one account uh, to find the initial link for application might be a bit challenging. Uh, we will put the initial application link down below. So you just need to create a profile and then there will be a list of documents that needs to be uploaded. So um, majorly for this program, uh, you need a motivation letter and just like any other master's program you need an IELTS score um, or you can also uh, give a document that your bachelor's or previous education was in English but to get that done and to get it approved is a bit challenging so it's always best to have IELTS or TOEFL or um, any recognized English language test and you need an SOP you can or uh, it's always better to have a letter of recommendation uh, it improves your chance and they do have a specified format for letter of recommendation so you can download it from their website just fill it up get it filled up by your um, previous work boss or you can get it from your university professors so it always adds value and this is one of the few program that has an admission fee uh, for the application so it is around seven thousand rupees and you need a visa card to make the payment but um and uh, once you get the uh, like once you submit the application the deadline uh, will be for non ea citizen it will be march end and if you are looking for scholarship uh, you need to apply it at least by the end of february the exact deadlines will be mentioned on the website and once you apply uh, the result may not take more than a month but it depends on the number of applicants so uh, in each year the number of applicants are increasing and the number of seats are also increasing so there is no limited number of seats reserved. It depends on your application. If your application is strong, you'll definitely have a place here. But um, you are supposed to get a result in a month. But uh, yeah, it might take depend on the number of applicants each year. So coming to the visa process, as I've already mentioned, this is uh, in just one country. Most of the uh, programs in these universities are uh, across three or four countries. But here it's in just one country. So you need a Belgian visa, type D student visa. And... Um, the application process is dealt with the Belgium embassy, but through BFS portal. So for this, um, if there is any queries, uh, you will find full support from KU Leuven or from uh, Ghent University or from the BFS portal, or you can mail to Belgian embassy. So all of these support you will get once you apply and once you are ready, once you have the admission, then they itself, like from the university, they will guide you through the visa process. And uh, visa... I would suggest that if you are applying for the visa, apply it at the earliest because uh, the earliest you apply, the shorter is the duration. Suppose you apply it in April, then the duration to get visa may not be more than a week. But once uh, it's towards the end, towards September, there will be a lot of applicants and the time may go up to three weeks to one month. And if your visa, like if your documents are not strong enough, it can even take up to two months because they'll send the document through Belgium embassy and the process may take longer. So it's always best to apply at the earliest. And for the visa, there is a visa processing fee of around 15,000 and it's all to be 
paid uh, through VFS and uh, you'll need documents such as blocked account. So more details about blocked account I'll discuss in the finance section, but blocked account can be availed through the KU Logan University itself because they have a blocked account service. And uh, rest your admission letter and the more detailed visa process is quite challenging. But if you have any doubts or any queries, there is an ISL group, Indian Student Association of Logan. It's an NGO. Um, they have a telegram group uh, whose uh, telegram link will also be uploaded and like this will be added in the description and you can check it out um, for any queries for visa it's better not to take risk and always get an opinion from someone so that you not delay the visa process but there is very less chance that you will not get a visa because mostly all the indians who have applied they get a visa and then Coming to financing, uh, the semester or yearly fee is 950 euros as of now, which is around 1 lakh rupees, but it can change year to year and based on the pitch batch you're coming in, it can slightly increase for our batch, but uh, this is due to a tuition fee behavior. The actual fee is around 6,000 euros, but uh, this 950 euros is based on a tuition fee behavior. So to know exactly what is the tuition fee, you can go to KLUBAN website, type in your program, the year of admission and your country, which country you're from, you'll get the exact amount of tuition fee that you'll have to pay for that academic year. And for the next academic year, it will not change much. Only a slight increase will be there. And uh, regarding scholarships, uh, there is a Birla scholarship uh, for which Indians are not eligible, but the Vietnamese, all the Dutch colonies, they are eligible and you'll get uh, all your tuition fee waived, you'll get a monthly stipend, you'll get travel elements and all. And uh, for Indians, you can apply for a mastermind scholarship. As I've earlier mentioned, for scholarships, if you need to be eligible, it's very important that you apply before the deadline because there is no different application for scholarship. It's just that you are automatically eligible for scholarship if you apply before the scholarship deadline. So uh, keep a good eye on the deadlines for this year. And uh, getting a mastermind scholarship is very challenging and I've not seen anybody in EOP Foods program having a scholarship. But still, you can give it a try if you're very good in your field you might have a chance in getting it. <clears throat> and coming to blocked account, yeah. Blocked account is where you put in a certain amount of money for this semester. So, oh, sorry, for this one academic year and you put in um, an amount of money. So for us, it was 10,500 euros. So it's around 11 lakh rupees after considering the tax and service exchange charges and all. So you'll put in that money for this program. KU Logan offers this blocked account services, but there are private agencies who also offers the service. It's always best to go with the KU Logan one. And so you need to transfer this amount to them and they will give an allowance of 950 euros every month for one year. So your visa is also only valid for that one year. And after this one year, you will have to again make a blocked account payment and renew your visa. Uh, and... Uh, making the blocked account and getting a financial certificate from KU Logan is uh, not a very challenging thing. Uh, you just need to ensure that you're transferring it through a legible bank. Um, and yeah, that financial certificate is the only thing that you need as a blocked account proof by in your visa process. And it's uh, not mandatory to have a blocked account, uh, but there are other options as well. You can just show, show a financial proof that uh, whoever is sponsoring you has the capacity to make payment. But all of these are quite challenging to get approved. So uh, if you have a blocked account, it's quite easy for your visa to get processed uh, than showing other financial proofs. And uh, then coming to the cost of living, as I said, they'll transfer 950 euros. But currently in Europe, the condition is such that the cost of living is increasing day by day. And uh, the cost of living was not 950 euros the past year. And we cannot see how much it will be in the coming years. But uh, even if they say it's 950 euros, the cost of living will be around that range. I wouldn't say that you can save something from it but uh, yeah it will be somewhat in that range only you'll not be able to uh, not spend 950 euros and uh, yeah and especially in Ghent which is your first university in Ghent the cost of living is slightly higher compared to other European countries and even compared to Leuven where you'll be going for the second semester and regarding the workload and do we get any free time so <laughs> that is quite a tricky question because a workload is quite there. First of all, it's a master's program. And secondly, both of these universities are one of the top universities in bioscience engineering. So they do have such a high quality and standard of education. And the workload is there. You will not find a single day that you will not have to work. So it could either be assignments. Uh, you will have assignments even till the end of your exam. So you'll have to work on assignments. Uh, exams are going to be quite challenging. I would say it's entirely different from that of India. It, I uh, like It is mostly like India only but a bit more challenging because you'll have to study everything of a semester and then give an exam and you'll be evaluated based on the exam. There are some internal components such as assignments and all, 
but still exam has a huge chunk of mark and you need to study pretty hard to get through the exam even the professors will uh, say that it's quite challenging on the day one itself so don't think that it's a piece of cake uh, it is going to be a very 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 challenging and be ready for the challenge i'm not saying you'll not get through it you will definitely and easily get through it but be ready to work hard consistently every day that is the only key and regarding free time it is really not that easy to find free time but you can and regarding part time i wouldn't recommend it for the first semester even though you can maybe do a part time which is maybe once a week or that like you cannot definitely work for 20 hours in a week which is the limit i don't think it is possible in the first semester first of all you're coming to a new country and uh, there is a difference in education system the workload is going to be very difficult but maybe in the second third and coming semesters you can do part time but don't expect to come here and right the way start with a part time and earning back because uh, the workload is challenging and it won't be easy to find a part time also i wouldn't say the language here is dutch but i wouldn't say it's necessary to have a dutch background like dutch learning strong as in like Uh, France or Germany. It's very important to have German or French. But here, it's no. Uh, most of them, since it's a multilingual country by itself, most of them knows English. Even though they would prefer you speaking in Dutch, um, you can easily. There are so many students, especially in Ghent and in Kiel. There are so many students. So these are student cities, and you can easily live with English. And if you have a Google Translate, that's it. But it's always recommended to know the language and be familiar with it. Uh, yeah and coming to the future opportunities from this you will get a master of science degree but although it's a master of science degree you will be learning some managerial courses and you can get into sales marketing or even you can go into research and development product development or even quality assurance so it's just like any other food technology course your opportunities are vast and there are seniors who are placed in sales there are seniors who are working in product development but it all depends on what you want and what you search for even though you have degree from the two best universities it is your duty to find a job yeah um and regarding stay back and pr policies uh, you get a one year stay back for which you will have to again make a blocked account and then you'll get a one year stay back and um yeah once you get a, a job and then they'll take care of your visa and it's not as uh, like i wouldn't say if you work for it if you search for it you will find a job but the economic situation and there are a lot of other factors that also influence this decision so uh, there is a chance that you can easily find job sometimes it might be difficult as well it depends on what is the condition after two years but yeah you do get one year uh, stay back and yeah i hope we were able to answer some of your questions but in case you have more questions please feel free to comment down below we'll be happy to reply to your comments and you can get in touch with the icel group or get in touch with us through instagram anything so we hope we were able to give you some valuable information about iop foods program thank you so much for for watching and if you haven't yet subscribed to it please subscribe and also like this video if you were able to help and share it with your friends who might be looking for a food technology masters thank you so much